Well, hello there. How's everybody doing? I'm back. Let's do some camping. It's the end of winter. There is some snow on the ground where I am. And it's a little bit cool. But I think we're going to make it. If the roads don't wash out or if the roads don't get too muddy, we should be in good shape. Old River, she's pretty excited, pretty happy to be here. She knows what's coming. She knows what's going down. So here's a little tour. I've been here before, I've had you guys here before. It's a beautiful spot up on a hill. View of a small lake. Beautiful day. And river loves it. River loves it. I have to get her back. She took off somewhere, probably down by the lake. Come on, river! River! Oh, there she is. There she is. Not far. Hey, girl. How you doing? Having fun? You want your treat, do you? You want your treat? I bet you do. All right, let's set the truck up. We'll give you your treat. Oh, you want your treat? Oh, you want a treat? Oh, ho, ho. First thing River looks for when we get here is her treat because she knows she's getting something. These ones here are a frozen backstrap tendon. She loves these. They're good for her too. Full of collagen and all kinds of good stuff. So her treat is on the freezer side of this fridge freezer combo. And Oh, here's my treat. I get us. We're gonna set up our chairs, have our treat. Go to your place. Go to your place. Oh ho ho. There you go, that's a girl. Hey, hey, come on, back to your place. Get up there. You eat that there, relax. River's really enjoying that backstrap tendon. So if you've bought me a coffee lately, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. River appreciates it because I take that money and I just buy treats for River. That backstrap tendon is good for her. It's good for any dog. Doesn't splinter up. She really enjoys it. It's good for her body. And uh, she gets a little treat when we come camping. And that comes from the buy me a coffee money. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We're going to cook something awesome tonight. It's going to be awesome. I'm not sure if I've seen it very often cooked out in the woods, but it's going to be really, really delicious. I've only made it a couple times, but it's a pretty basic dish. So, Other than that, just hanging out. Probably go for a walk because we still have a lot of daylight left. I'll probably take Ripper for a walk. She'll enjoy that. Just a little overnighter, clear the cobwebs of the brain. That's what it's all about. Hey girl, how you doing? Get that girl. So we went for a nice walk, picked up some kindling. That's all we really need, just a little bit of kindling. It was a long walk. Didn't tire her out at all, just tired me out. But, 
feel like a cup of coffee now. I had my my Guinness, my pint of Guinness. It's about mid afternoon, I don't know, three o'clock or so. So there is time for a coffee before I fully set up camp. Just fire up a little alcohol stove. So actually I made a modification to this stove. This is a little titanium setup from uh, Silver Ant. And it works well, works very well. I did a review on it, I don't know, maybe a year ago. <clears throat> but it was riveted together at one point. And I just found it a little awkward to carry, you know, that around. So I drilled out the rivet, made it smaller, so it fits around the titanium burner, or it could even fit inside a pot. And now all I have to do is put the pot stands on it and it holds together beautifully and it works just fine so it's a little fiddly to get initially set up but once it's set up it's nice and stable you get your burner inside there your pot on top you're good to go oh yeah that's a boil Woo! that is a boil didn't take long at all This freshly ground coffee in there. Woo, it's a lot. It's gonna be a strong one. Four or five minutes. Be perfect. Oh yeah. She's strong. Tell you one thing, it's been a strange winter, hasn't it? We're getting close to the middle of March. Past winters, there's no way I would ever be able to get back in here with my truck anyway. The roads were packed snow and ice and mud. Normally, there'd still be a foot and a half, two feet of snow on the roads coming in here. Still only fit for skidoos. Shaping up to be a pretty sweet little camp here. Lots of wood. From home. It's all about convenience sometimes, guys. When you have a full size truck, why not fill it with wood? Watch out. Go ahead. Go. Go. Get out of here, come on. Here. Always wants to know what I'm doing. 
a sign of a good dog. Thought I may as well get the fire started early. Since I have lots of firewood, may as well enjoy it. So I think we can start prepping our veg for tonight. Here's the star of the show. Beautiful beef shank. That's right, we're having Oso Buco tonight. Look at that. That's a big boy beef shank. Beautiful marbling. So I want a pretty fine dice on this veg. Like something around a centimeter or less, less than a centimeter. Because I want it to kind of melt into the sauce. I don't want big chunks of veg in this. It's going to help thicken it up a little bit and give it nice flavor. Next is an onion. Same thing. Pretty small dice on these. I have one small onion here. I brought two. I'll probably put two in. Start with one. And some celery. And some garlic. This knife is so sharp. You can see why people like them for food prep. Remember? There's an extra piece of carrot for you. Stay. Stay there. Ready? Good catch. Good catch. Eat your carrot. Eat your carrot. Don't be afraid to use the tops. Good flavor in the tops. And finally, garlic. I have all oh, about four cloves here, thinly sliced. They're going to melt to nothing. Fresh garlic, guys. Don't use that stuff in the jar. Check out this beauty. That's an amazing shank. Oh, that's going to be so tender. So I'm going to get it in this seasoned flour in the bag. Get it coated all the way around. For starters. And we'll put some color on it in the Dutch oven. So I have flour, salt, pepper. That's all that's in here. You don't need a massive amount of flour. I mean, I dredge this whole thing in about a tablespoon of flour. That's perfect. I have a feeling me and River are going to be fighting over that marrow bone. What's up, Neat? Come here. Wait. Hey. Hey. Wait. You hungry? Okay, go ahead. That fire's feeling mighty fine, I tell you. It's going to take a while to burn down to coals. Hopefully it's not too hot. This is a bit of an experiment. Thought I'd feed River. She seemed like she was hungry. I mentioned before that she gets a raw diet. If anybody out there feeds their dog a raw diet, let me know in the comments. Let me know how your dog's doing on it long term. She seems to be thriving on it. And it uh, makes me feel good to give it to her. You know, it's, it's just a whole food. There's nothing added. Just 
meat, bones, and organs. Hey, you like that stuff, don't you? You like that? Good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Oh, baby. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Woo! Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the veg in. Onions. Celery and carrots. I'm going to hold off on the garlic just for a minute. Because as we all know, garlic burns very easily. I think I'll season this up with some salt and pepper. Of course, there's some pepper and salt. Yeah. Oh, that's smelling amazing. Let's go in with that garlic now. Oh, man, this is gorgeous smelling. I'm just going to cook this for a couple minutes. Soften things up a little bit. Let's put about, I don't know, a cup of red wine in here. Maybe a little more. Let that reduce just a little bit. So that's, that's reducing nicely, beautifully actually. So let's add some beef stock. I have some seasoning here, oregano, parsley, thyme, rosemary. Get that in there. Season like you mean it. Time to put this baby to bed. Oh, yeah. Yes. I think we'll do a little more stock. We want a nice sauce. Get the stock about almost to the top of the shank. fire in this Dutch oven do the magic so I ended up wanting to add more wood to the fire so that means it would have been too hot so I just rigged up a quick tripod with an adjustable line here so I can just keep it at the right temperature I can hear it's just got a little bubble going on there perfect I don't know too much about wine, but this is a blend from Portugal, I think, maybe Spain. It's called Lab, picture of a lab on the front. The wine label has a picture of a dog on it. I'm buying it. It was pretty cheap. It's just a blend like a house wine, but I think it'll be good for cooking. And tasty too. We need to add 
small can of tomatoes to this mixture. Oh, well, that's going to make it so nice and rich. Oh, if you could just smell this now, guys. Mm mm mm. The red wine, the stock, tomatoes, all those spices. Oh, it's going to be great. I think we're ready. Oh. Look at that sauce, so thick. The meat. Oh. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. Let's get this off. Oh, I can't wait to try this. It has been a long time waiting for this. I had breakfast at about 10 o'clock this morning. Now it's like 9 o'clock. This is just falling apart. Whoa! Look at the size of that. I think we'll leave that piece there. And my faithful sidekick river. But I need to get some of this sauce. Oh, all over. So rich looking. That marrow bone is going to be awesome. Oh man. That's a nice piece left over for River. Let's eat. Oh man. Let's try this. It's been ages since I've had Osobuco. Absolutely ages. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, dude. Melt in your mouth. Some of those spuds. Oh, yeah. What a feast. River just awoke. She was sleeping underneath my BMA anorak for a while. She smelt this meal. So I should give her her share. Well, that sauce is amazing. Just a hint of wine, but <clears throat> basically you just get the richness from all the other ingredients. Definitely need to do this again. Definitely. There's something about that beef shank, all the collagen and connective tissue in it. Just really, really delicious once it breaks down. Mmm. Got that fire stoked up too. Hey River, how are you girl? You want some? I got a piece for you, don't worry. I got a piece for you. Where's your bowl? Here, I'll give you some of this one. <clears throat> Make sure there's no onion on it. Oh, how's that? 
How's that? Mmm. Good stuff, eh? Good stuff. Have a, with a little bit of this wine. I don't drink much wine, but once in a while, I'll have a glass or two. Kind of the star of the show is the marrow, not marrow bone. Mm. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to give River her portion and continue on with mine. That fire is looking amazing. Whew. That's it. All cleaned up. That was delicious. Man, I couldn't finish it. River got her nice piece and then she got another big chunk of mine. <clears throat> so we're both happy. We're both stuffed. She's sleeping underneath my anorak again. It's getting cooler, but this fire is nice. It's a really super clean burn. Very little smoke, if you know, very little smoke, no sparks, anything like that. <clears throat> and that heat is concentrated coming out of there. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'll bring it again, but it was a nice little experiment. Well, that was a good night. It's chilly now. I think we'll be retiring soon. River's all curled up over there. So we'll see you in the morning. Morning, y'all. How's it going? I think it's time for coffee. I slept real well last night. <clears throat> Both of us did. River tried to get me up about six, but I wasn't having any of that. <clears throat> Go back to sleep. So it's about it's getting close to eight o'clock now. Sun's up. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I think it did get below zero last night because your few things were frozen out here. But I'm looking forward to that coffee. Shouldn't take long. 
It was amazing how little ash was created last night using this East Oak fire pit. Just, I don't know, maybe a liter or less of ash, a quart of ash, if you put it all together. Pretty efficient. That well, was neat to take for a change. That fire pit there would have to be dug out. It's full right at the top, so. This ended up being easier. And it works pretty well. It'd be great for searing a steak at high temperatures. Really good for that. A little bit of smoke at start up, but then it just goes away. There we go. There's a nice boil. Try and find a clean stick. There we go. I like a good French press once in a while. Oh, we have a bit of a situation here. Let me see. River cutter paw actually pretty bad. Oh, let me see. Hold on. Oh dear, poor girl. Oh, no. Hold on. Ah, uh, no, no. Back up here. No, no. Come on. Up. Up. Sit. Come on. Sit. Sit down. I know, I know it hurts. I got some antibacterial wipes and some bandages, but a snake. I know that's not going to cut it. Poor girl. Let me see. I know that hurts. Poor girl. So people leave glass and things they shouldn't be leaving out. And this is what happens. It's a nasty cut. It's okay, girl. Come here. I know. It hurts. Sit down. Stay there. Stay. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't think there's much you can do for a Cut pad. There's not much you can do for a cut pad. I don't think they can stitch it or anything. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just applying some pressure. Oh dear, poor girl. I don't have good cell service here, so I don't know. I might call my uh, my vet. The bleeding slowed down. I'm gonna have to keep her quiet. I'm pretty sure there's nothing you can do. They'll just clean it up and send her on her way. But I might be wrong. They might be able to stitch it. Stay. Uh, 
People are so irresponsible. Maybe the best thing is let her just lick it clean. Here, roll over. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's pretty bad. Oh, the bleeding stopped. Oh, poor girl. She knows I'm helping her. Yeah. 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 So I texted my daughter who's worked in uh, vet clinics for years and uh, she says gauze, polysporin and a bag on their foot when they go outside. So uh, I can do that, clean it up, put some cream on it, some gauze and uh, get her in the truck and get her home. So there's no, there's nothing else they can do, you know, they're not going to stitch it or anything like that. So that's unfortunate going to have a limp for a few days. I knew something was up when she didn't uh, eat her food right away. She usually gets right into it. So I have to wait for this fire pit to cool down so I might as well drink my coffee and then it'll be a quick pack up. I won't bother with breakfast. <clears throat> That's a bummer. Poor dog. Poor dog. Yeah. You're being good about it. That's why I love using toggles for tarps. Really easy to deploy and easy to pack up. Say goodbye, River. Well, that's it. We're all packed up, ready to go. It's unfortunate. River got hurt. We're going to get her home. We're going to get it checked out at the vet. But I'll give you an update on that. I did get her cleaned up, gauzed up, and I carried her to the truck. I didn't want her getting muddy and wet. So uh, that's the best I could do out here. Shows you need to carry some first aid with you when you come out here for you and your animals, right? And it's annoying and unfortunate that some people will just smash beer bottles deep glass. I knew this was going to happen eventually and well it did. So I'm just glad it wasn't more serious than this. And actually I'm glad we don't have to walk out because that would be even worse. So if she's safe in the truck, I have to get going. We appreciate you watching. Take care everybody. Bye for now.